One of the most common questions I get is, how do I swap Upix to USD? At the time of recording this, there isn't a direct way to do that through an exchange or anything like that. Upix is an in-house token only. It isn't tradable like other cryptocurrencies are. That said, there are still ways to get it to work. Hey there, Jen Henry here, SSFTG. Welcome to the video. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome my friend. I hope to earn your like and subscription today. Converting Upix to USD isn't as simple as swapping it for the other coin like we can with other cryptocurrencies. In order to extract our USD profits from Upland, we need to sell properties for USD. To do this, we first have to have access to USD and Tilia, the fiat service provider for Upland. They also did payment gateways for Second Life, if you remember the OG from back in the day. I have a couple videos that go over the USD to Upix process, so make sure to watch those, and I'll link those in the corner for you to make it easy. So, all we have to do is get some properties and sell them for USD, and wango bango, we're all set, right? Well, hang on a second, right? It isn't that easy now. First off, we have to approach this tactically. If we hunt on things like upixland.me, we'll find quite a few folks selling USD for under mint cost. This may be amazing for us buyers, but dangerous to do as a seller. Let me explain. If we reference the Upland Constitution, side note, did you know that Upland had a constitution? It's there, the Upland Constitution. It's all there, very important to read through. Uh, but Article 2 is going to be the part that we're specifically going to be looking at here. Now, Article 2, under the expectation of fair market pricing, properties being intentionally sold severely under or over mint prices may be flagged for suspicious activity. Now, let's be real here. I 100% doubt that anyone who has a property listed for 999 999 999 is going to get flagged for suspicious activity. It's kind of annoying, but other than that, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. That said, I do know quite a few people who have been fined and jailed for selling under mint. Now, it's crazy because when we look at things like upixland.me, we can see that there are a lot of properties that are for sale under mint. It happens constantly, especially in USD. And like I said, it's not going to be, uh, you know, something that I'm going to particularly want to do personally and to do it safely. We'll talk about ways to get into that, but this is a, a buying opportunity for sure. But I'm going to heed the warning of what I've heard from other people and stay away from selling under mint in in favor of other ways with that knowledge in our belt we can go about this in a safer way and properly right following the tos and those are always good things to do there's absolutely nothing against the terms of service about selling for usd less than what you bought it for taking a loss on a property there's nothing wrong with that the key is selling it for under mint if you buy a floor collection property, uh, the cheapest of a collection is an example, on the secondary market for, let's just say 30,000 Upix, and you sell it for $20, you're not going to have any issues as long as the minting price was less than 20,000 Upix, the $20 equivalent. The best way to get USD out in terms of the safest way, still following the terms of service and all of that stuff, which I think is an important thing to do, uh, really is finding a market or a collection, something that has high demand, that has a very close upix to USD floor. As an example, right now, if we're looking in Los Angeles, Los Angeles East Hollywood Collection has an UPIX floor of 31,900. That's at a 286% markup comparative to some of the others. You might find some better deals like 124, but we're looking at the floor here because we're trying to flip for USD. So when we're looking at this, 31,900, if we switch this over to USD and we look at the floor in USD, it's $30 and basically 31. They are very, very close within a dollar of each other. So right out of the gates, if I were to buy a property in Upix to sell out in USD, I'm going to be taking a 5% loss because of the, the fees to purchase, and there's a dollar loss out of the gates because that's the spread, so to speak, between the two. Of course, if we want them to sell quickly, the lower the price, the faster they're going to sell, but that is going to be a little bit of a loss, that you know, extra loss that we would have to incur. As an example, if I were to place a property for sale for $25, $5 under the floor in USD, it's probably going to go pretty quick. 
That's the awesome thing about buying collections from other areas is that you're buying developed markets. More often than not, collection areas are minted out. You can't get them any other way than secondary markets. And if they're not minted out, they're very close to being minted out. So the only ones that are left are incredibly expensive. Think back to Parkwood <laughs> back, in, uh, uh, back in Tennessee. The other great part about these developed markets with collections are that they're not going to generally just collapse overnight if you're buying them correctly. Now, what I mean by buying them correctly is simply that you're waiting to buy them when they're on sale. If you can simply hold off on the urge to cash out right this very immediate specific second, then we can really get the best bang for our buck. I track collection prices in our weekly Upland review on Saturdays. If you missed the last one, I'll link that in the corner for you. Uh, the key is that I have a side pile of Upix that is dedicated to cashing out in USD. Those are your profits, if you will. This Upix is thought of as though it is completely separate from your main stack. If Upland is listening, multiple Upix accounts that you could set up in like a drop down menu would be amazing. You could have an Upix savings account, spending accounts, interest account, loan payment accounts for Spark Rental, automated percentage split deposits into each account. I mean, this could seriously be awesome. Anyway, once your USD stack reaches your cash out threshold, or in this case, your Upix stack reaches your cash out threshold, then you need to navigate to your favorite collection property area that has a very close Upix to USD floor. And then from there, you buy the needed properties and add them to your holding tank. Remember, you have to hold properties for a certain amount of time before you can sell them in USD. Here on the upland.me guide section is the breakdown of how long you have to hold them. Uplander has to hold properties for 30 days, Pro is 14 days, Director is 7, and Executive and Chief Executive are both 3 days. Once your holding period is up, you can place them for sale via USD. Since there is a holding period, you can see why timing your purchases can be so important. You can only sell 20, 20 properties at a time currently, but hopefully this cap will increase and eventually be unlimited. Um, once the lock period is ended, then we can sell for USD and we can list the property up just below the current floor. Remember, not below mint, below the current floor. Hopefully the floor prices have risen since you last bought it, adding to your gains along the way. That way, to sell the property quickly, you can list it below the floor by 10 to 20%, but if it's gone up 10, 10 to 20% during that period of time, the loss is effectively negligible in between there. Again, the lower below the floor you price something, the faster it's going to sell, but of course, the more of a loss you're going to incur. It's definitely a give and a take relationship. So just a quick exam an example of this in action. I'm a director, so my holding period is seven days. Just a couple days ago, I bought this collection property in New Orleans for the lower ninth ward collection. The floor price at the time I bought it was 18,000, but I spotted this property for 14,789. Really, really nice deal there. Now, the floor price at the moment is 1499, and I still can't sell this property in USD, which means that I effectively bought it in Upix for lower than the USD floor, so I can actually sell it for a slight profit if you don't include the uh, the 5% seller's fee, of course. Uh, <laughs> and the goal is over the next few days, when I am able to sell it, when it's moved out of my holding period time frame of seven days, then I can sell it for USD and the price will have appreciated by then. And a couple buyers will have picked up these $15 marks and maybe I'll be able to sell it for 16 bucks when, it, when I'm able to sell. And just so you can see, if you try to sell a property in USD before you're actually able to, it will tell you, nope, you can't do that. I've got to hold it for another five days. So you can see, um, I'm still waiting on this one. It's still holding off and hanging out there. Sometimes, because I was able to pick it up at such a good discount, you could still sell this in Upix and just pocket the difference and do it again later. But this is what I'm talking about, really keeping your eye open for these opportunities. They don't show up all the time, but they're great opportunities if you can keep your eyes open for them and you're quick enough to grab them when they set up. If you'd like to join all of us in the Upland Metaverse buying, collecting, and flipping virtual real estate NFTs, click the link in the description. It gets you into Upland with some starting Upix to get going, and if you decide to invest some cash, you also get that massive 50% bonus on your first purchase with a bonus cap of 50,000 Upix.
To make it even juicier for my SSFTG fam, users who registered with my referral link and bought Upix with the bonus have access to our USP properties list on SSFTG.com slash Upland. I know cashing out in USD isn't necessarily the easiest thing in the world, but when you understand how it works and the best way to time yourself so that you're able to make the best out of it and possibly even churn a profit with the time difference, it really isn't that hard. It's just a matter of some patience and due diligence. I hope this guide helps you in understanding my method for cashing out in USD and how I prefer to do it. If you have any questions, thoughts, or topics for a new video, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you all. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, happy USD flipping.